In this video, I'm gonna show you 12 essential Canva AI tools that every Etsy seller should know. They've come up with a lot of new features lately, but I'm only gonna show you what is actually useful for us Etsy sellers. So let's get into it. Number one is the Magic Grab tool. This is an essential tool for all Etsy sellers because when it comes to the product mockups, there's a lot of times where you want to shift around the different objects, maybe move the templates around so that you can showcase the products a lot better. And this makes it a lot easier without knowing any Photoshop tools. Number two is the image upscaler. Now this is probably my go-to tool and I've tried using dozens of different applications for this, but now knowing that Canva has it built in, it's incredible to scale up low resolution images to high resolution files. Number three is the Magic Writer. Now you can use ChatGPT to do a lot of these, but if it's included in the Canva platform, it makes it a lot more efficient within your workflow. You can use it for your descriptions, your about section, your announcement page, right? Anything that requires copy, you can use this tool. You can also change the tone of the voice as well, which is really effective to building a cohesive branding within your shop. Number four is the Magic Blur. Now this is a really effective tool when you're showcasing your products. When you're taking your images, maybe you want to accentuate the actual product itself and blur out the rest of it. So it helps the buyers really focus on the product itself and not get distracted with anything else on the screen. Number five is the Text Grab. Now this is a lifesaver. Maybe you've come across different files that you created years ago and you no longer have the original editing file. Now you can use this, place the image in and directly grab the text and also edit it on that flat image. Number six is the magic design. If you've seen a lot of my previous videos, I talk a lot about creating variations within your listings. So you're targeting a lot of different styles within a specific niche. Now this tool makes it very easy for you to quickly create multiple different styles with just a couple clicks. And this can really help speed out your design process. Number seven, styles and layouts. Whether you're doing multiple different pages within a listing, sometimes you want to create more variations and more layouts and more options within a specific listing. For example, if you're creating a massive ebook or you're in the wedding template niche, it's always good to create a variety of different layouts within a design and this makes it very easy for you to do that. Number eight is the magic switch tool. So similar to the other ones, this one helps you create different canvas sizes. So for example, if you're creating social media templates, sometimes you want to create them in a square format, sometimes in a vertical format, sometimes in a horizontal format. With this tool, you can easily transform each design and create a different canvas size from it. Number nine is the magic media. Now this is a really helpful tool because if you are in certain categories like the wedding niche, maybe invitational card niche, you need to create different graphics, very simple 2D graphics, and you can use this tool to create anything you want, anything original to add into your templates. And yes, you can use third-party platforms like Midjourney to create these, but you might as well use what is built in on the Canva platform if you are building Canva templates. And if you want to learn more about how you can start selling Canva templates, check out this video here on the screen, which gives you a lot more information if you're interested in selling Canva templates on Etsy. Number 10 are recordings. Now this is a tool I'm so happy that they included now because before I would always use an external tool called Loom to create all my recordings, but now you can do it directly on Canva. An example of where you want to use this is let's say you are selling different templates and you want to provide instructions for your buyers on how to use it properly you can add a recording within your downloaded documents so the buyers know exactly how to use your templates. And this can really create a good user experience for the buyers and they'll have a higher chance to giving you a five-star review. Number 11, bulk create. Now this is another tool that helps speed up your workflow. Let's say you're creating multiple pages within the listing and there's certain text on there that you need to edit. You can quickly change it, create a CSV file, and edit all of those different details in a click of a button. Number 12 is the Magic Translator. This is an amazing tool because you can quickly turn any of your templates into a different language. If you've seen some of our other videos, we talk a lot about creating variations, but also language variations is another strategy on how you can gain more exposure from different demographics and different countries. Now using this tool, you can easily transform any of your templates into a totally different language, just like that. So hopefully these tips were helpful and you're able to use Canva in the most efficient way. And keep in mind, you will need to use Canva Pro to access these tools, 
but I really believe it is worth it. Subscribe if you want to learn more Canva and Etsy tips. Till then, I'll see you in the next video.